Sure. I'm Becky Dolano, and I'm an Associate Professor of Women and Gender Studies and Queer Studies. I think this is my 16th or 17th year here at Fullerton. And you're actually a full professor, by the way. <laughs> you're not an associate professor. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> um, well. It's uh, a little hard to keep track of years these days with COVID. Uh, <laughs> it was hard enough before, but now it's really hard. And um, I teach a lot of different classes. Um, I specialize, my own research is in activism studies and I work with student activists. And that's a little bit about me. I'll let uh, Dr. Ketchum take over. Thanks. Um, I'm Dr. Carol Ketchum, and um, I'm a professor, and right now I'm serving as the department chair, which is a rotating position, so we'll each, each of the professors in the department serve in that role at some point. Um, my own research is uh, about technology and visual culture, um, although lately, I think with all the interest in history and um, rethinking the role of history, uh, I'm I'm kind of veering in that direction. So it's a, a bit of a new direction for me, I'm, or a kind of a return actually to some work I did when I was working on my master's degree. And so I'm really excited about that and thinking about sort of what it means, all these Confederate monuments coming down and all that kind of stuff, what that what that means to us now and what it could mean for our future and how it that intersects with some of the social justice movements that are going on. Um, and I, I, in fact, that's, I would say one of the themes that that Dr. Dolano and I share is an interest in social justice. And that's something even that we could expand to the whole department. Every professor in this department is engaged um, really meaningfully and in, in, in a variety of ways in various social justice projects. I would say that is absolutely true. The, all the faculty in the department um, focus on social justice are active in social justice movements in their own lives in various ways and encourage our students to take part in social justice movements. We have a very active student body, we have a very active student club um, and work with uh, the faculty in our department, work with student groups in other areas on campus as well. So definitely students yeah, in fact, department are active. In fact, right now, if you were to go to the Women and Gender Studies and Queer Studies webpage, which we are going to go to that in a moment, um, when you get to that page, you'll see that on, on the very front page is a picture of Dr. Dolano and Dr. Kamalek at a conference that they recently attended together with students. I don't, is, is, is that an accurate description of that, Becky? Was it a kind of a conference or was it more of a... It was um, part of the Social Justice Week and the audience was a mixture of students and faculty. But it was a discussion with faculty and students about moving social justice into the classroom. Yeah, very exciting. Which is some, which is also something that we are all committed to. You know, we we do this work outside of the classroom. We do this social justice work in our research, but we are also all very committed to doing that within the classroom as well. So I'm going to share my screen and show you the website, and we'll kind of just go through that and um, and then give you our contact information um, and so that you can contact us if you have any other questions. So um, can you see that, Becky? Do you see my screen? Yes. It looks like I'm good. Okay. All right. So this is the um, Women and Gender Studies webpage and you can see the URL up here at the top. I've also pasted that URL in the chat. Um, and there's a lot of information that you can gather here. And of course, you can come back to it if you need to be reminded of something. Um, we have just two statements again you know thinking about social justice and our commitment and our disciplines commitment um, to social justice there's the a statement on in regard to the um, the recent attack on the APIDA community and um, a link to stop Asian hate hashtag and, and to that organization that's or, that's pulling all that those efforts together at a national level and then we also have a Black Lives Matter all Black Lives Matter and Trans Black Lives Matter statement as well. And some other links over here that, you know, they may or may not interest you, but they certainly would give you a idea of what we're all about. And then just kind of a, a generalized statement about women and what women and gender studies does and queer studies. And um, one of the things I thought might be important to mention is that in our communications with students, um, and with each other and on the website, you'll s often see the department abbreviated WGST forward slash QS. And that's to stand for the kind of two areas. We've got a bachelor's degree in women and gender studies, a minor in women and gender studies, and then we also have, offer a minor in queer studies. Um, and there are various reasons why you might want to think about 
um, doing a minor in women and gender studies or in queer studies. And I guess I could hand that off to Dr. Dolano if she wanted to elaborate any on that. Sure. Uh, what we find is that both of those degrees work really well with many ma majors on campus. Um, there really isn't a career in which knowing about gender, knowing about and better understanding how the different people you're going to be working with live their lives isn't a benefit. Diversity is um, a key word these days, is being stressed in more and more disciplines and in more and more careers. And that is what we do. We teach about difference is the word we've used for years before diversity was a word that people were using. And um, so our degrees complement anything you wanna do. In particular, a lot of students in sociology, psychology, anthropology find that they like to take an emphasis on queer studies or women and gender studies to bring a little bit more of those fields into what they're doing in their areas. Uh, we often have students who will get our degrees, uh, whether a major or a minor, and go on to do work in, um, become psychologists, become social workers, and find that those degrees are incredibly useful to them in learning to and working with diverse populations, all kinds of people. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. It, and um, it also, if you're thinking about graduate school in, in just about any form, um, but I can think of, and, and Becky, you can throw, help me with this, like the law, edu uh, education, master's or PhD in education, um, counseling, for sure, psychology, for sure. All of those things will, uh, when you turn your transcript in with your graduate ap application, having that notation of queer studies or of being a queer studies minor or that notation of a women and gender studies minor is really going to help distinguish you from other candidates and i as will the women and gender studies just the degree itself i mean it's really ideal for the, all those kinds of things and i think there's actually even a list of um someplace on here where um, we've got other information about uh things that students have done after they've graduated from here and gone on to to graduate school yeah anything else you I, well, I was just going to say in the last week, I've heard from current students who have gotten into education, PhD programs and law school. Just right now, they ah. just do. So, yeah, I feel right like there's a, I feel like there's a, I feel like there's a real contingent of, of our students that got into, that went into the law. I, mm -hmm. Do you feel like that? Or is that just yeah. me? I just oh, yeah. Lots yeah. of lawyers. Yeah. Lots of lawyers, politicians. Yeah. But educators too. So I just clicked on that. So first I was here, I was up here on the Women and Gender Studies main page, and I just clicked on academics here, and you can see that there's information about the, um, the bachelor's degree in Women and Gender Studies, the minor here, and the queer studies minor. So you can click on those and get a sense of the requirements for those. Um, the advising tab over here, or it's also up at the top, will give you a checklist for that. And also um, this semester, Professor Sursis Mendes is doing our academic advising and there's her email. And um, since COVID has gone into effect, which has dramatically changed the, our life in the department, we're also using a, um, a, a booking software. So if you need to make an appointment with us, you can um, do that pretty easily. I don't have it here, but we do have it at the bottom of our emails. Um, and I think if you go to the faculty page, several of us have just click on mine. Um, our, you can book me page right here on, on that page. So you can click on this and book an appointment with me. And that you don't have to be a student to do that. If you're just thinking about it, you have questions and you'd like to talk to somebody, I'm happy to talk with you and you can click on that. Becky, do you have anything you think we should, else we should cover on this? Um, no, we might, can you pull up a list of the classes? I think one yes, of the people if you're not terribly familiar with women in gender studies and queer studies, you don't really know what we're talking about in terms of what we're teaching. And the beauty of it is everything relates to what we're doing. <laughs> and that's one of the fun things about teaching this is that not only does everything relate to it, but we can teach about everything. And one of the ways we do our teaching is through current events. A lot of the time you'll be talking in your classes about what's going on in the world around you and using the world around you as examples, understanding what your experiences daily are about through the theory that you're learning in your classes, understanding your relationships with your family, with your friends, in your culture, how politics work, everything that's going on right in the moment. And the classes that you see here are about those very things. So 
We've got classes in theory, we've got classes um, about um, politics, we've got classes about activism, we've got classes on sexuality, we've got classes on, you know, masculinity, history, you've got it, all kinds of things, computer stuff, you name it. I do have to say too, that to riff off that for a moment, that it's really an exciting time to be in our department and, to be, and for you to be coming into our department because of this larger cultural emphasis on social justice. And I mean, for the first time in our, perhaps our country's history, I would certainly argue that that's the case. There is a, a very wide and vigorous discussion going on about what it means to be racialized and what it means to be given white, unearned white privilege in this country. And those kinds of conversations are very much kind of what we center in women and gender studies. And we, of course, are adding to that ideas about um, the social construction of gender and the difference between sexuality and um, biological sex and gender as a performance and all these kinds of things. So we, we complicate it even further, but still that, that kind of thinking around social justice, the importance of us crafting really mindful um, and powerful social movements is, is very much what you will be getting in our courses. Um, maybe we should talk about, do you want to talk about the student group? I feel like you, didn't you just, weren't you, Becky, didn't you just, um, weren't you recently leading that, that group? I did, I have many times, um, some of those pictures up there when I was <laughs> leading it actually. There quite a few of them. I recognize a lot of those students up there. And I think that I am in the one on the far left. <laughs> at least I was, oh, in the yeah. was up there at one point. That um, could be you right there. <laughs> Um, so let's see, uh, would you come back? It is a very um, long, <laughs> this is what we call our student group. It's the Women and Gender and Queer Studies Student Association. And right there, W, yep. would you come back, it's the, it's the acronym, but we've just turned it into a word. <laughs> we've to, yeah, rather than go through all the letters. Um, so it's not just for students in women and gender studies majors and minors. We, anyone who's interested or enrolled in our classes. Um, we find that a lot of students on campus are really uh, tied to these topics, but not necessarily in our classes. I mean, I'm not saying in our major. And the group is close knit. People make friends for life in this group. And I can tell you, I'm looking in the picture above. And in one of these pictures, I see three people who to this day, once a year, get together with three other people. And it has been 10 years since they graduated. And it was through the group and through our classes as a majors that they became lifelong, just a cohort of amazing friends. Um, so this group brings people together to do activism, to talk about theory, to talk about their classes, their lives, um, to make change on campus. Uh, that picture there was arm wrestle a feminist, the one of the arm wrestling. It was uh, an event that the club did in order to just get people thinking about what feminism is, you know, the gendering of certain athletic things and start talking about stuff. They do really creative actions on campus, that make people walk up and go, what are you doing? Let's, and then they get you started to talk about what it is they're there for. It's fun. Yeah, it's a great group. It's, it's a really great group. Um, Dr. Lee is uh, the advisor for that group that group right now and we probably should mention that um, when it's not COVID <laughs> um, and we're able to be on campus in person we have a student lounge that Wajikasa students meet in and it's a big lounge with comfy couches and coffee and a refrigerator and snacks and little things that pencils and things like that art supplies for um, postering and making banners for activist projects or other projects on campus. It's just this, this one big room it has a TV and movies in it. And um, that's where Wijikasa meets. It's also a space that our students just use to hang out in. Um, it's kind of the heart of our department because the faculty offices are all off of this main space. So it's a pretty cool hangout spot. Yes, and it really is an important space. It's a space where our students spend time together working on their schoolwork, um, bonding as friends, doing activist work. It is 
It's a wonderful space. It's a space where we get time to hang out with our students and that hang out is the right word. We're a very close knit community, the faculty, the students, all of us. This is not a, a department or a major where you're not gonna know your faculty. We are there, our doors are open. We sit and hang out and eat our lunch with our majors in the center area, in the lounge. So if you're looking for a community, Women and Gender and Queer Studies is the place to go. And again, while we're not going to be, you know, in, entirely in person in the fall, we right now we are hopeful that we will be back to entirely in person in the spring. That this situation right now is a very temporary one, and we have developed and worked very hard to develop ways that we can connect with with you as our students, and ways we can help you as students connect with each other, even through this kind of virtual space. The screen that I have up now is the full the a list of our faculty. So we have six full-time faculty, and that's who you've got here. If you wanted to read more about them, you could um, click on their name, and that'll take you to their personal page. And then we've also got a number of lecturers that are really fantastic as well, that, that have worked for us, most of them, for a very long time. And um, you can get their email addresses here if you wanted to get in touch with them as well. Can you think of anything that we should kind of, I think we're supposed to go until 12 and then have that be it. Becky, do you think of anything that we should kind of close out with? No, I think that covers pretty much anything other than please contact us. You know, if you have questions, we're here to answer them. We're happy to set up a Zoom and chat with anybody. Um, and that goes for if, when you get to campus, can be beforehand or when school starts in the fall, anytime, get in touch. Yes, please do. And and again, Dr. Dolano and I both have got our address, our email addresses over here in the chat. And so you should grab those. And there's also a link here to um, to the Women and Gender Studies webpage. Please do contact us if you have any questions. And I guess since we're just being recorded, we don't have any um, student participants right now. We'll, I guess, say um, adios and hope to see you on campus soon. And thanks. Look forward to meeting you. <laughs> Look forward to meeting you.